In this video, we are going to look into the slope of a line. What exactly is a slope of a line is what we are going to look into in this video. But before we do that, let us do a quick introduction, you know, just a quick start up to the definition of the slope of a line. So, what is it all about? So, a line, if you see, let's consider this line L, this blue line here, L. So, a line in a coordinate plane, you know, the xy, the plane in which the xy axis lies called as the coordinate plane. Now, this line in a coordinate plane forms two angles with the x-axis, right? The point where it meets at this point, the blue line, it meets at this point at the x-axis. At that point, it makes two angles on the either side of its meeting. One side is the positive direction of the x-axis and the other side is the negative direction of the x-axis. And both the angles are supplementary. That means the sum of those two angles equals 180 degrees. So that's why they're called the supplementary angles. So the angle theta, right, made by the line L with positive direction of the x-axis and measured anti-clockwise. The small arrow here tells it all. It's measured anti-clockwise. is called the inclination of this line L. So obviously, now here if you see, the theta, this theta is greater than or equal to 0 degrees and is less than or equal to 180 degrees, right? It can't be less than 0 and it can't be more than 180 degrees. So now we observe that the lines parallel to the x-axis. You just imagine this line L, you know, just inclining more towards x-axis. And at one point, it kind of coincides with the x-axis or say at one point, it makes an angle zero with the x-axis, right? That's what I'm saying. So just imagine this line just keeps, you know, coming close to x-axis. This goes up. So it just coincides with the, coincides with the x-axis. At that point, what happens? The line L becomes parallel to the x-axis and the other thing that can happen is this can you know move towards y-axis and it can entirely become a right angle with the x-axis you know it can become you know it can become at 90 degrees with the x-axis so these are the two conditions apart from being inclined at any angle theta in between 0 degrees and 90 degrees so so the two points that you have to consider here is at this point when the line is inclined like this it's got an inclination theta when it becomes Parallel to the x-axis, the inclination becomes zero. And when it becomes coinciding with the y-axis, when it coincides with the y-axis, the line L, when it coincides with the y-axis, it becomes, you know, it makes an angle of 90 degrees with the x-axis, all right? So this is the startup to the whole definition of the slope of a line. So now let us define what is the slope of a line. All right, here it is. If Theta is the inclination of a line L, then tan theta is called the slope or gradient of the line L. So, the reason we did all the startup is for you to understand what exactly theta is. Theta is not, you know, some theta. Theta has to be that angle which is measured in the anticlockwise direction and in the positive direction of the x axis. So, once that is defined, this definition becomes, you know, more specific. So, when I'm talking about theta, you know what exactly I'm talking about. So, if theta is the inclination of any line L, then tan theta is the slope of that particular line. It's called as a slope or gradient of that particular line. Okay. Now, what about when theta is zero? So, when theta equals zero, slope equals zero because tan theta, that is tan zero will be equal to zero. When theta equals 90 degrees, slope is undefined or it is written like this, which is called as infinity. But undefined would be a rather appropriate word to use at this in this context. So that is what it is. So when I say when theta becomes equal to zero, that is nothing but the line L becomes parallel to the x-axis or it coincides with the x-axis itself. And when I say theta equals 90 degrees, this line coincides with the y-axis. So what you can see from that is, you know, you can get two things out of this, these two things, slope of x-axis and slope of y-axis. So therefore, slope of x-axis, when this line L coincides with x-axis, it almost becomes x-axis, right? What's the difference between the x-axis and this line L when it coincides with the x-axis? It is the x-axis. So the slope of x-axis is equal to zero. And the slope of y-axis, you just have to imagine what happens 
when this line L coincides with the y axis, it makes an angle 90 degrees with the x axis. So when it makes an angle of 90 degrees with the x axis, if you have to find the slope of that line, then it is tan theta. The theta is 90 degrees. So tan of 90 degrees, you know, it is undefined. So therefore, the slope of y axis is undefined or infinity. All right. So that is what this video was all about. All you had to understand as far as this video, what you have to take away from this video is that what exactly is the slope of a line? All right. And then how do you measure the slope of a line? Slope of a line is measured by tan theta. And how is it denoted? It is usually denoted by m equals tan theta. This is the general formula of the slope of a line. m equals tan theta. You just have to substitute the angle of inclination of the line whose slope you're finding out to find m. All right. And then apart from that, you've got two conditions in slope. That is when the inclination is zero degrees and when the inclination is 90 degrees for both of them, which I've told what happens. All right. So that's all in the forthcoming videos. We will look into some of the topic concerning slope. We are still not done with slope. In this video, we've just merely understood what a slope is and how do you measure slope when you've got an inclination of the line. But when you do not have the inclination of a line, how do you find the slope? Well, there is a way to find out and we will talk about it in the forthcoming video. So that ends this video.